What's up, everybody? It's the Roundtable Sports Podcast. We're taking a look at the wild card round game between the New Orleans Saints and Chicago Bears, specifically the man, Drew Brees. And Drew, you know, he's had better days for sure, but he did a good job of getting the ball out of his hands and dealing with the stingy Chicago defense today. Michael Thomas was no doubt a sight for sore eyes for this team, and having him over the top of all their other weapons certainly makes them a lot more dangerous. See this touchdown right here. Having the defense, having to have eyes on Michael Thomas opens things up for the rest of the team and you know gives Alvin Kamara some help with the playmaking. And make no mistake, this team still runs through Alvin Kamara, but Drew Brees has been so good at making decisions, making throws, you know, keeping drives going. It's been, you know, a beautiful thing to watch for the Saints this year. And I know he's going to be a great color commentator. The knowledge is just going to spill from his head out onto the film and into our lives when he goes and hangs him up. But he's still exciting to watch. And I would even be on board for one more year if he really felt like he still had it because you know it's not based on power throwing it's based on his accuracy it's based on his knowledge it's based on just him having all of these things he's put together over so many years and then being married to this new orleans saints system this is one of my favorite plays too i want to know if it was on purpose or not but look at that look at latavius get in there and go i don't think that another quarterback makes that play especially not the one on the other side of the ball today This leaves me thinking that New Orleans has what it takes to possibly beat the Buccaneers. Now, I could be proven wrong, you know, on Sunday, but I think they have just as good a shot as anybody to win. So I'm excited about the prospects, and I want Drew Brees to go out on a solid note because he's had a great career. He seems like a great guy, and I'm also glad that we're going to have him in our lives, you know, after this. But until then, he's playing hard. He did what it took to win this game today, and... I'm proud of him. I'm proud of New Orleans for getting this far and, you know, culminating a season. They don't always culminate so pretty and you don't always, you know, peak at the right time. Seems like getting MT back makes them peak a little better.